The healthcare system right now is a very scary, scary situation. Uh, we are potentially at a point in Mississippi where if Mississippi don't make the right decision, that we could possibly see our health care system uh, crumble down uh, around us. My name is Tamika. I'm 31 years old. Now I'm just getting back into the workforce where I can work with my passion, and that's cooking, being in the kitchen. And I, now I'm currently employed at the Cilantro's Mexican Grill on the Kent Square. I'm a mother of four. I have three boys and one girl. I'm a licensed minister at Turning Point Fellowship Ministries International, located here in Canton. Now I'm, I'm working, my job doesn't provide insurance. I remember going to go get um, registered for school. And you know how girls just kind of like to touch their face or whatever, and I was touching my face, touching my neck, and felt this big old lump in my neck. And I was like, Mom, you know, what is, what is this? I didn't know what it was. I was told after my surgery that they not only removed the gorter, but they found cancer. My thyroid was laced with cancer. That was, that's the, that was the beginning of my journey um, with thyroid issues. I now have uh, hypothyroidism, where it makes me sluggish and sleepy if I'm not on my meds, if my meds are unregulated. I've been going through a struggle right now. When I've been off my meds for a long period of time. And it came a point in time where I decided, well, I'm not just gonna sit up and let the government take care of me. I'm gonna go to work. And sometimes I say, why did I do that? Because I was no longer able to get Medicaid. I was excited when I got information from Tamika. Uh, I had really started pushing at that point to capture as many uninsured people as we possibly could. And she tried her best to um, get me on insurance with um, the Obamacare. I was so excited because I, we were talking and she um, told me she was working. And I was like, great, okay, what's your income? And my jaw kind of dropped, and I was like, oh, you know. My income just wasn't enough. Uh, she tried all kinds of loopholes, avenues, asking people, well, what, what can she do? She looked at me like, what are you talking about? And that's when I had to explain to her how things work here in our state. Uh, right now we have roughly about 140,000 Mississippians now who could possibly be put on Medicaid through the Medicaid expansion that right now they have no form of health insurance at all. The Affordable Care Act hoped to cover more poor Americans by requiring states to expand Medicaid. But 26 states declined to go to that expense, creating a coverage gap. As an organization that has done um, direct enrollment, we've seen numerous cases of people coming in only to find out at that moment that the reason that they are not eligible for any health care is because our state didn't expand Medicaid. In each one of these cases, these have been people that go to work every day and they just happen to fall in the unfortunate lot of not being able to afford health care. The coverage gap, simply put, is Mississippians who make too much to qualify for our current Medicaid program, but not enough to afford to get subsidies to help pay for insurance on the federal health insurance marketplace. The way the Affordable Care Act was written, states would have been required to cover people that fall into this gap. However, in 2012, portions of the ACA were challenged before the Supreme Court, and while it was ultimately upheld, 
the Supreme Court ruled that mandating states to expand Medicaid was unconstitutional. This made Medicaid expansion optional. And currently, 32 other states and D.C. have agreed to expand the program, but to date, Mississippi has chosen not to expand. Currently, Mississippi's Medicaid program only covers pregnant women, the disabled, the elderly, children, and single parents that make less than $500 a month. However, in order to receive subsidies to help pay for insurance through the federal health insurance marketplace, a person needs to make at least $980 a month. This coverage gap affects tens of thousands of working Mississippians, like construction workers, home health aides, cashiers, and childcare workers. Because Medicaid is such a significant economic driver in Mississippi, the state foregoes a lot when they don't expand Medicaid. For every $1 Mississippi spends on Medicaid services, we receive three back from the federal government. By not expanding Medicaid, Mississippi leaves approximately $14 billion in economic activity on the table. That's coverage for almost 200,000 Mississippians, 20,000 new jobs, and 848 million in new tax revenues.